Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. We are at Foothills Golf Club in Lakewood, Colorado and I'm playing the Executive 9. I was looking at my shot scope data and I was shocked with how bad my irons and my wedges are. So I wanted to come out here and really focus in on that and give you some tips and tricks to hit better iron shots and course management too because when I was looking at it through all of the data I noticed from a scratch handicap to a 25 handicap there is consistency with where we seem to miss and how we can improve so I'm gonna go over some course management tips to hopefully help us all out to get better and uh, let's go So I have 96 yards into this pin. It is a little downwind. And if you look at the lie in the rough, I have a bit of a flyer line. When people say flyer lie, uh, coming from the front here, you can see that the grass is growing this way and it's sitting up. And so it's really going to like shoot it out, which means it's probably gonna go a little bit farther when the rough is growing into the ball. That's when it gets a little more stuck up into it or if it's sitting down. So you really have to look at the lie that you have in the rough because it affects how far you're going to hit it, how it's going to react, if it's going to spin, is it not going to spin, is it gonna hit and roll? And so people just think, oh, I'm in the rough, it's gonna react the same every single time. No, you really have to analyze your lie in the rough and that's going to help you um, hit the shot that you need to hit. Pin is right in the center of the green, so I'm going to go right at this pin. When I'm talking about course management, when it comes to shooting lower scores, and this applies to a zero handicap to a 25 handicap, is you need to look at where the pin is and where your miss normally is. For this shot, there's really no trouble right. There's a little trouble left, but the pin is so far right at that trouble, they don't even have to worry about it at all. So I'm just going to hit a normal shot here and go right at the pin. Since it's a bit of a flyer line, I'm going to take just a little bit off of it with a little downwind and play it about five yard, five to seven yards left. So the number I'm looking at now is 90 yards. great shot, distance control was great, and we have about a 10 footer for our birdie. So I recommend when you're hitting your iron shots to majority of the time play towards the center of the green. There are very few pins that you should really go for. For example, this pin is on the left side of the screen. If you hit it a little bit left and it kind of pulls you over to wanting to hit a draw, you land in the rough and then you short side yourself, which means you have a very difficult chip shot to get up and down. So what I like to do is for a shot like this, I will always play towards the center of the green always. I tend to draw it and my miss is always a little bit left and so if I aim towards the center of the green and I get a little quick on it or I turn it over I'm gonna draw it right into that pin. I very rarely miss it right. Sometimes I'll slightly push it but even if I slightly push it from where I was aiming up I was on the green and that's what happened and if you look now I actually have about a 25 footer uh, for my birdie and so playing safe and smart is always the fastest way to lower your scores. 
One thing I found really interesting when I was looking at the shot scope data is that from a zero handicap to a 25 handicap, most people leave it short on their iron shots. And so their miss is always short. And I think it's because one, we don't want to admit how far we actually hit our irons. And so you're like, I can muscle it, I can get it there, I can hit it there. And then you end up being short on almost all of your shots compared to knowing your yardage, knowing how far you hit it, feeling comfortable and knowing your game. So that's my biggest, biggest tip. Take your ego out of it. And I know it is so incredibly difficult to do, but once you do that, you know your game, you can trust your game. There are no pictures on a scorecard. No one cares how far you hit an eight iron because it's embarrassing when you're short 90% of the time. If you just knew that, okay, I actually can't hit at 160, but I can hit at 150 and you start actually start hitting more greens and more greens. I would much rather hit a club a little less than what I think and score better then try to kill it and scramble. So again, take your ego out of it. So I have 53 yards downwind. And this is one of those holes where you actually don't want to be short. And I know everyone always tells you, don't be long, don't be long, don't be long. But actually being short here is gonna give you a really difficult shot because if you're short and that rough, it's a hard pitch shot because it actually, you're gonna have an uneven stance. You're gonna to have to put a ton of loft on it. It's just a difficult shot. So it being on the green or a little long is a better miss here. So always look on where you, I know you wanna be positive when you're on the golf course, but look at maybe not where you don't wanna miss, but where you would rather have a leave if you do miss hit a shot. So I am going to grab my 54 and go right at this pin since it's in the center of the green and just be confident execute. yards into the screen. This is another one where long is actually a bit better than being short and so having that shot scope data is so important because you want to know where you're missing it and I tend to miss more short than long. I also tend to miss left more than right and so what you need to find your data, find where your misses are and that way you know where you can play on the safe side. Again, there's very few pins that you're actually going to fire at and you kind of get lucky if you're playing the right way and you know your miss. You see it all the time with tour players and you're like, wow, they pulled off that amazing shot. Cam Smith at the players is a perfect example of this on the Island Green. He went over the pin, pin was on the right side. He pushed it. He was not aiming there. He was aiming towards the center and he got away with it because he was playing smart. So you think these pros are getting these amazing shots, but they're actually playing smart and knowing where their misses are. And so that's why looking at your data, getting your data is so important. And also course management, knowing where your miss is, how to play smart. Because if you play towards the center of the green every time, you're going to shoot so much lower instead of being like, I'm gonna be aggressive today, I'm gonna to fire at all the pins. 
that's not actually the best way to play golf and those opportunities will come throughout the round but you never want to force it and sometimes what happens is you start to force it and you start to compound your problems because you're firing at these pins missing in bad spots not getting up and downs and worst case then you're making doubles or triples because you're trying to play aggressive playing smart is the best way to lower your scores Playing smart is the best and easiest way to lower your scores. It's course management, it's knowing your game, knowing where your misses are, and not biting off too much that you can chew. So with that said, I'm gonna go at this pin because it's in the center of the green. This is an example where you can go for it. And we're just going to execute and hit a good shot. The data in this video is from ShotScope. ShotScope products provide GPS distances, but also performance tracking, which is done by having the tags in the top of your grips and either just playing with the V3 watch or tagging with the H4 handheld. Afterwards, upload your data to the app and you can start to generate insights and improve your game. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope the takeaways are play smart, play safe, good course management, and knowing your misses and looking at data is so important to lowering your scores. And don't forget to check out ShotScope. It's really gonna help. Honestly, trust me on this one. It's gonna make a huge difference in your game. Getting that data is so, so, so important. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.